Hello everyone, thanks for watching Rainbow Tutorial video. Today we will show you how to use the EMCD design software. At first we can open the software and load uh, image. We had prepared the logo in PNG format. First we can set size for the logo. We can click this to lock width and height, and set width to be 115 mm. The 115 mm width is from this side to this side. If you want the logo width to be 115, you can cut the white edge of the two sides before loading the picture. We will use side and stitch to embolder the pattern, that is uh, left, right, left, right, left, right, like this. But we cannot starting with the uh, sunken stitches because the starting point will be very loose if starting with a sighting stitch. So first we need to add wrong stitch first. So first we can draw line. and uh, add round stitch for it. The round stitch is finished here, so we can add side and stitch from this point. We can click this button and uh, left click here. Here we need to right click because it's curve lines. And here we need to left click because the next line is a street. Here is a left right too. OK, press Enter. We can click this button to check effect. This is the ending point of these stitches, so next starting point cannot be too far away from the ending point. So we can starting from here. And here is a street line, so we can left click. And here is a curve lines, so we need to right click. And press enter. Okay, this letter has been done. Next, we need to add stitches in the circle. So we can click this button and right click. And press enter. And press enter again. This is the starting and the point of this circle. We can set it here. And this is ending point. We make it at same point. And uh, this is the direction of the stitches. We make it to be horizontal. Okay. You can say this ending point is very far from the next starting point. So it adds a trimming point here automatically. The triangle indicates machine will cut thread when it's in border here. And uh, also we can add trimming point manually. You can say the stitches are uh, continue. We can select the stitches and uh, click this button and uh, then you can say a uh, trimming point was added okay let's go on to add stitches in the right arrow first 
at the uh, wrong stage first. This is the starting point of a sentence stage, so we can add wrong stage like this. You can say there is a trimming point here, so this stitches will not continue. And uh, then we can click this to add Titan stitch for the letter W. You can see there are all street lines, so here are all left click. And uh, here are curve lines, so we need to right click here. And the brush enter. Okay, the red stitches had been done. We can change the stitches to be red. Let's continue to add uh, stitches in the black arrow. Also, add uh, round stitches first. And uh, add Titan stitches. Here is a curve line, so we need to right click. Okay. Also, we need to add a trimming point here. You can say there is a trimming point. Here we need a trimming point too. We can select the stitches and click this. You can say there is a trimming point was added. Here are curves, so we need to right click.
we can select the stitches and uh, click this button to adjust the stitches density. Press enter after adjustment. Okay, like this looks better. Here should be right click because it's curved lens. You can say here and uh, here we need trimming points. So we can select the stitches and uh, click this button. Here is a trimming point was added. There are curved lines, so we need to right click. Also, add trimming point. You can see these stitches are uh, continuous, so we also need a trimming point here. We can select the stitches and uh, click this. There is a trimming point was added. Here should be right click. Here we can left click because next next line is street. Here is a left click too. Okay, press enter. Also add the trimming point here.
here is a right click because uh, there is a curve lines. Okay, we can change the second part to be black and uh, check the effect. Finally, we can save the pattern at a DHP format and name it Rainbow. DHP format is for easy modification and uh, improvement and uh, then we can save it as a DST format. Uh, we can copy the DST format pattern to USB disk and transfer to Rambo embodery machine and have a embodery testing.